in data analysis, the identification of outliers is very important. Outliers are statistical observations that are markedly different in values from the others in the sample. For the weekly TV viewing times, we've already calculated the five numbers summary, the minimum, the maximum, and the quartiles, first, uh, second, and third quartile. We also calculated the interquartile range. Now we're going to calculate the lower and the upper limit using the formula given q1 minus 1.5 iq iqr for the lower limit and for the upper limit q3 plus 1.5 iqr we need to understand the the fact that the lower and the upper limits are approximation that will allow us to determine whether or not we have outliers in the data. So the lower limit is 2.75, the upper limit will be 36.5 which is the third quartile plus 1.5 IQR which is 13.5 which can be done of course with a calculator. Now if you notice the lower limit is 2.75 and 5 is greater than 2.75 the minimum so 5 is really the minimum. It falls within the lower limit range. Now the upper limit is 56.7. Now the maximum is 66 which means that the maximum is greater than the upper limit so it's outside of the range of the upper limit and that fact makes 66 a potential outlier. A convenient definition for the outlier would be that it is a point which falls more than 1.5 times the interquartile range above the third quartile or below the first quartile. Now once we understand the notion of upper and lower limit and the the notion of adjacent values we'll be able to build the box plot uh, graph what is the box plot graph the box plot graph is a graph made up of adjacent values and the quartiles now if there's no outliers, the adjacent values will be the, the minimum and the maximum. If there is an, an outlier, the adjacent point will be the number closest to that outlier. The outlier will be outside of the box. So the first step will be to determine the quartile, then the potential outliers and adjacent values, which means the lower and the upper limit will have to be used. And then you can draw the box. For, well, we have to go back to this problem again. And we have to finish it. Let's see what we have. We have the lower, the upper limit. We have the outlier, which is 66. Uh, we also have the first quartile, the third quartile, the interquartile range. Remember, we've calculated the second quartile, so we'll get it. It's between 30 and 31. 
those numbers are in bold face. Now the, the outlier is 66. It's outside of the uh, box plot. Then the maximum becomes the adjacent number, which is 43. The minimum is 5. Right? First quartile, first quartile is 23. First or lower quartile. The medium, second quartile is between 30 and 31, so it's 30.5. Uh, the third quartile was already determined. The third quartile is 36.5. By the way, the interquartile range is usually not mentioned on the box plot. To find the percentile rank of a number, we need to understand what we mean by percentile. Percentile separate data sets into a hundred equal parts. The percentile rank of a data is the percentage of data values that are less than or equal to that value. So the percentile rank of 75, because 8 are less than or equal to 75, will be 8 divided by the number of test scores, which is 25. And since we want a percent, we're going to multiply it by 100. We can just cross cancel. So 25 goes into itself once and into 100 four times. And 8 times 4 is 32. So the percentile rank of 75 is 32. It's the 75 is the 32nd percentile. What does that mean? It means that 35% of the data is 75 or less. And 68% of the data is above 75. 